We truly believe a side-by-side -side relationship with our partner is the very best path forward, but we respect the process. What we're focused on is continuing to create the very best experience for our partners. We know that that has worked for the last 50 years, and we're confident it actually underpins the success of our new era of growth. So that's where we're focused. Well, that was Starbucks CFO Rachel Ruggieri earlier this month, uh, weighing in on employees' unionization efforts. And the fight is far from over as Starbucks workers are walking out today from more than 100 stores across the U.S. They are expected to go on strike on one of the biggest days for Starbucks. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma with the details. Uh, Brooke, walk us through uh, what, why today in terms of timing and what are they specifically calling for? Yeah, well, uh, good morning, Akiko. Starbucks really relies on this day to bring in a huge footprint, a huge amount of traffic. Of course, this is their annual Red Cup Day where they offer this limited edition reusable Red Cup, hitting on sustainability there. It's about 50% recycled plastic. Customers having to purchase a holiday beverage to receive this cup. Now, it's important to note here that Starbucks Workers United is uh, using this day where tons of traffic comes in to launch their other plans. They say that this is the biggest coordinated national action taken by the union Starbucks stores in the campaign's history. So as you noted, there are more than 100 stores on strikes and at those strikes, they're handing out the cups that you see right there, Starbucks Workers United Red Cup to customers instead. Now, when I spoke to a Starbucks Workers United spokesperson this morning, they told me that the vast majority of these striking stores will be closed. Now, when I asked, you know, is there potential for them to be reopened? They said that Starbucks may try to open them, but they would have a hard time to find managers and workers from other stores and it'd be extremely difficult on a day where most stores are already understaffed. Now, as you can see here, Starbucks stores that are set to go on strike include major cities, including Seattle, San Francisco, L.A., Austin, New York, and including in New York, those Starbucks pick up with Amazon Go and their New York City Reserve Roastery in Chelsea. Now, of course, just on Wednesday, Starbucks launched their Empire State Building Starbucks Reserve. So, of course, Starbucks getting a lot of attention for these unionization efforts as it's hitting their other Starbucks reserve in New York. Now, of course, Akiko, it's important to note here that Starbucks Workers United continuing to look to bargain in good faith. And as of this morning, so far, the, neighbor, uh, the National Labor Relations Board have conducted more than 300 ballot votes and over 260 have voted for a union, while just 250 have been certified. And last month, Starbucks started bargaining processes with several dozen unionized cafe locations but these workers united, uh, these unionized stores rather, really looking to face those challenges, to make sure that the, uh, the stores are staffed yeah. and to ultimately make sure that they're getting paid what they think they deserve. Okay, that conversation continuing there. Brooke De Palma, thanks so much for that.